So I moved everything downstairs. Figured that would be a smart idea before I start building a heavy ass engine. Got all of the parts in or pretty much everything that I need to assemble the block. Uh, and I figured I can at least plasti gauge it tonight. Of course, I don't want to start assembling everything. I want to be able to just assemble the whole bottom end. Know that it's all going to fit. Uh, I did already plasti gauge this. As you can see, the main journals have all been plasti gauged. Yeah, let's check it out. I mean, they're all looking pretty good. Just so you guys know the specs, actually. Alrighty. So here are the specs I wrote down in millimeters. Don't know why I did it in millimeters, but I did. You can see here that the center main journal has a little bit different specs than the other mains. Clearance, max clearance recommended is 0 0.060 for the center main. The other one's 0 0.050. Pause the video here if you want to check out the ranges right above, but we got the uh, two ranges you're shooting for right there. Did also write down the torque specs. We got 23 foot pounds. And then 56 foot pounds you want to do that in two steps of course also have the rod uh, journal specs if you want to pause the video for that but there's what i'm going with we take a look here at the crankshaft uh, after i got it plasti gauged and everything let's check out how it turned out honestly i'm pretty happy with the way it all turned out uh, we could, sorry it's difficult to do this with an iphone but there we're sitting at just a hair under the 0 0.038 so that looks like it's about a 0 0.04 maybe 0 0.042 um, millimeter clearance so if we look back over here that's right at the tail end of what we're shooting for and under our max so we're all good there if we take a look at the next one again just about a hair or two uh, skinnier than the 0 0.038 uh, the good thing is that none of them exceeded the 0.51 so we're good there. These two plastic gauges came off on the caps, uh, but those look the same as the other two, so we are all set. If we take a look at this center journal here. Uh, that one, again, looking good. Just a hair or two, possibly three hairs under the 0 0.038. So we are all looking good there. I'm super hyped again, like I said, that the OEM bearings and the color codes worked out. For all the research that I did, like I said, I'm super hyped. Um, but yeah, let's see me get the crankshaft bolted down. I already got the bearings in place, all lubed up. I got the thr thrust washers in place. Make sure that you follow the color order that you found from the block. So we're just gonna pick up right here. All that I have to do is get the uh, main, main cap bolts in and torque down and then i'll be able to free the crank or spin the crankshaft to make sure it's not binding so all right let's get going <laughs> 